Hello, Derek McWilliams here, Spencer's TV and Appliance. Uh, I'm going to cover real quick a couple of different applications, um, and then you can call me. But this sometimes, when people read something or see something, it'll 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 click when you you hear what I have to say on the different applications here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and show you uh, a flush inset look with Thermidor columns. Now the f the first thing we have to know about columns is we want them to finish kind of flush. Um, that's a real contemporary look. So some important things that needs to be done. One is we need the side panel to extend out as far as this door. So that would be more than 24 inches because a lot of people finish these at 24. We want this probably from the factory 26, 28, and then we can rip it and then we won't have to worry about it sitting flush and then this fridge can sit inside there and then we can do a decent job going across. Then we have uh, this particular one, you'll see three panels here and uh, in the return is finished because it's exposed. So we wanna make sure that you can actually, s you can't see any raw finish here. And also we wanna finish up top because that's how it's going to attach. So a frame cabinet needs to be skinned underneath there also. So cabinetry specifications really need to be paid attention to. You just can't do the old traditional 24 inches, throw a fridge in there. Uh, a lot of detail has to be thought of. This particular Thermidor is their new style, apply pressure and the door opens. Don't go into it and it'll close. Uh, here you'll see a 24 inch fridge and a 18 inch freezer with a 24 inch wine cooler. Lots of applications, 30, 24, 18, 24, 24, 30. So you can, you can actually put these together or you can separate them. Freezer and refrigerator are two different appliances. So this literally can go on the other side and the refrigerator can go on this side. So I'm gonna show you another flush inset look. But this flush inset has spacing because they put this Sub-Zero, they just made it a flush inset because they put panels on an overlay door, but it still needs space to open up that door there uh, because it's still a true traditional built-in. So there's a cleat back there that's finished so you wouldn't see raw finish. Uh, not ideal in the application of a flush inset, so I'll show you their better application, which is Sub-Zero's version of the columns. And here you're gonna see a 30 inch and an 18 inch, very popular, and a 24 inch wine cooler. Uh, I actually did this display myself, so I know exactly how we did this. This actually extends out to 28 because we bumped it out for the look. Um, but you'll see that it's all finished inside. We want all that finished. So whatever you do see, it's, it, you can't see the uh, raw surfaces. The uh, traditional, when you see built-in, when you hear built-in, we mean the fridge is built inside, but the it overlaps the, the wood. Uh, there's a cleat here, behind here, that you'll see. But in this case, the, the finish is finished, but it wouldn't need it to be because it sits all the way on the outside. So those are your quick applications. Uh, one last one. So you'll see overlay doors on a built-in that sits on the outside of the wood. You know, it's nice. It's not my favorite because it looks like wood on a refrigerator. If this was a flush inset, then it would look possibly like a closet opposed to being, you know, outside. I know it's wood on a refrigerator, but it looks like wood on a refrigerator. The whole idea of putting wood on it is possibly to make it look like a piece of furniture, which means it would be probably more flush, ideally. Thank you.